When we had last left Team Watcher, they had sailed back to Crookspur Island after their incredible extravaganza charting the Uncharted among the Deadfire Archipelago. Back at Crookspur, they returned to the mainland area from beyond the terrible slave fort. And there they found the Cockerel Forest, a place filled with a few people and a lot of arrows. And when they finally did encounter those people they let them be it was appallingly uneventful <laughs> and they went around to a couple other places and searched it for some fat loot now team watcher full of that and filled with enough of that bullshit were ready to go forward into the light the light of Magrin's teeth and its fiery flaming inferno because he waits in fire. Aethys is headed there and at long last they are ready to begin the main story once again at the Ashen Maw. This is Pillars of Eternity 2, Dead Fire. Welcome back. We're heading on out there. <laughs> Welcome back. We're heading on out there and we're going to the volcano. <laughs> Let's speed time up. There we go. Yeah, thank goodness old Aethys is just slow as shit. Huh? My god, it is taking him like, I don't even know. What year does this game begin? It's, I'd imagine it started in like spring or summer and it's still, it's early summer. Has a year gone by? <laughs> we're on some like, Elder Scrolls fucking timetable. <laughs> all right, let's head on up into this place. Cause this is, it's all we've got at the moment, right? Aside from waiting and this quest, which we have to hang on to for the DLC, I remember. Yeah, I think there are still a few islands down here that we haven't fully checked out. We did check out Pokokahara ruins and stuff, but I think there's some other stuff. Yeah, around here by this, but that said, the main quest may have us come over here or something like that. I'm sure we'll get, just as there was in the first game, it'll let us know when we come to a point of no return. I say that and watch as I click on this and it says, this is a point of no return. <laughs> All right, head on over here. Hey! Thick smoke, black as death, plumes from the peak of a rumbling volcano, the largest in the chain of mountains that makes up Magrin's teeth. A serrated fissure gapes in the mountainside, deep and dark, but intermittently lit by a red-hot glow. The cavernous opening is too narrow for the high charlatan to sail through. The skiff sways tumultuously in the spear superheated water the closer you row to the cave's cracked opening. Lava burbles down the mountainside, scorching rivers that disappear into the dark blue sea. Inside the rock face, the sound of churning magma grows louder, and the air warms around you, beating sweat along your brow. Ooh, it's been a while since we had to skiff on out to someplace. Goodness. It'd be cool if we could um, see the skiff on the high charlatan and all that. I guess we just keep it in like the supplies area. Maybe you can see it. I don't know. Maybe maybe you totally can. Oh, that was a quick load screen. I thought we would have to do a cut, but there you have it. Ashen Maw. There is actually, I think I mentioned it before, but there is a challenge mode, you know, the like challenges of the gods challenges or whatever that you can enable here that will, oh my God, this place looks like fucking Bowser's castle, but you can turn that on and it times you. So the main quest actually does have like a time limit if you don't meet certain thresholds within certain um within a certain time then it's game over which i think is a really interesting and cool thing to do right of course it also seems a little difficult <laughs> especially the first oh. kith in centuries to set foot in this place hopefully we will live to tell someone about it oh god but um especially as someone who would want to oh fuck as someone who would want to explore everything. Man, look, that is just Aethys on the map. Whew. Okay. So he can walk through lava. That makes sense. I guess Audra is like almost glass-like already. Oh, an angry troll is over here. Aren't they all? The hull of this longboat has been varnished with a flame-resistant amalgam. Yo, I bet we're gonna get some of that. What's up, angry troll? Grog. 
What do you do? While Grog is following you... Oh, uh, this is just generic stuff. Resolve for myself and party-wide. Destroyed when knocked unconscious. Cannot engage enemies immune to engagement. What? While Grog is following you around, you receive a bonus to resolve. Additionally, the party cannot engage and is immune to engagement. Also, anyone in your party will die when they are knocked unconscious. What the fuck? You cannot engage, but you are also immune to engagement. But if you get KO'd, you're dead? Holy shit. What a wild ass thing. Hmm. That's really weird. Okay, that almost seems like some kind of weird hard mode. That said, not engaging but also being immune to enemies engagement seems interesting. Okay. There we go. Of course, fuck if I'm ever taking that in like a first playthrough if I'm playing with like story companions. Shit. Alright. Let's bring this up. Should we check down here by this like... Big... Oh look, it, it's actually like some kind of cage. Yeah. Okay, let's first examine this. Though ashen, the skin of this dead giant remains hot to the touch. Weird. Okay. And over here. So there is just like a big ass pillar of Audra here. Another one that Aeth is, is going after. I wonder if there's any others. Well, no welcome's better than a bad one. Fair enough. Looks like these people got the bad welcome. Oh, these are giants too. The burned remains of these prisoners wear the tatters of sailor's garb. I don't know. Are they giants? Let's see. They might just you be Almawan. Aye, aye. No, they might. They must be. You were right? saying? Either that or the scaling is a little off. I'm not sure if it's like a... <laughs> some sort of symptom of, you know, just scaling an item higher in the world. Or if they're actually meant to be that huge. Right. Let's speed time up go. Get over here. Do you think he'll turn around and be like, Get off that fucking bridge, Watcher! <laughs> Look at him go. Yo, he's moving, too! He's petting it. Aww. As his forehead glows. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Can I actually fuck with these? Like the others? Let's see here. Look, it briefly appeared. Zoom in a bit here. No, I don't think so. Oh, wait. Look. There. Oh, no, that's just the examine. Okay, but these ones, though, I can fuck with. There we go. Primal Flame. Another one. Okay, and this dude, who is just, like, chilling out here. What's up? Hey, Rathoon Vanguard. Slumped against the stones of the bridge, a giant clutches at his bashed-in chest... It's a mess of sinew and blackened iron bones, fiery blood flickering between his splayed fingers. Thickly rasping a breath, the warrior lifts his heated gaze to your face. Who could have done that if it's just his chest that got specifically bashed in? So it couldn't have been like Aethys had somehow hurt him because he would have, like everything would have been bashed in and broken. Huh. Also, damn, their bones are made of iron? Extinguished or crushed, us all, Defiler. Maybe it was Aethys. I don't know. He struggles to speak. The agony of a slow death blazes through the scrawls in his skin, shrouding him with a veil of fire. Hmm. I need to get to Aethys. What happened to you? Religion plus history check. An alchemy check. Mercy kill by administration of poison. Drink this and rest easy. Finish him. This is going to hurt you more than it hurts me. Huh. Or priest of Aethys check. Interesting. Let's see. What happened to you? Damned reaper of souls and god of lies. Magran's most foul enemy. Right. So it was somehow Aethys. I need to get to Aethys. Servants of the Defiler God. Damn you. Oh, wait, what was this? 
Oh, more blood fire licks from the Rathoon's cracked chest, slowly charring his arm. So when they die, if blood pours out, they like, yeah, they totally self-petrify. Huh. He chokes liquid fire trickling from his lips. Okay, let's see. I guess we'll mercy kill him, why not? Let's administer some poison. Drink this and rest easy. Can he even... Will that work? If his insides are made of fire? Mm, let's try it. He closes his ember-hot eyes, a relieved sigh rushing from his chest as you brew up and then tip a vial of poison to his lips. The icy, slushy mixture takes effect immediately, dowsing the flames with a sweep of hoarfrost through his veins. It leaves his face cold and ashen and dead. Oh shit, he used up some of our goods. But that's fine. None that were super valuable. No Hadrabon, thank goodness. Well, that was worth doing, even if oh. we got nothing in return. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's go over here. Now, if it, if it were Hadrabon, I would have totally loaded that save back up. <laughs> Alright, go over here. Yep, get that. Okay, cool. Let's head on to the Sentinel Wall. Just an entire bridge of exposition and foreboding background. <laughs> and foreboding music. We must not forget the foreboding music. Alright. Ooh, shit. Man, this place is a little toasty, huh? Jeez. What is this? This is just like a big fucking oven. This place is made out of metal? Okay. Nothing good comes from this much quiet. True I enough. I can be quiet Sent if you can. Stealth. Okay, anything else around here? No. It's just like fucking fire in between the cracks here. What have we got in this? Some sort of sarcophagus? What is this? Oh, it's a table with an exceptional war hammer. Okay, big old lock that we can pick. We'll have to do that. Check this thing out. A table with a pry bar and a bunch of money. Okay. Let's pick into this and I'll go in here first. Don't mention it. Sure. Yeah. Captain. Do another quick save Just here. Say the word. Okay. What have we got up here? Oh shit. Hey, they're not hostile to us. Okay. Do you think they'll be mad that we picked through their door? <laughs> Hello! Hi! Kith! Trespasses in the goddesses more? But how? Incensed, the giant warrior hulks. Her thick muscles twitch, red markings glowing hotly against her ashen skin. You must seek to follow in your defiler god's footsteps. You will not, for I will smite you where you stand. Whoa, take it easy. Bellowing, she hefts a massive sword overhead but a second giant slams the haft of his iron staff into the warrior's hard-muscled stomach, abruptly halting her attack. Hold, Sega! I would speak to this filthy minion of the wretched god Aethys. Segroth. The Rathun word for a blooded warrior. <laughs> is it because they're all hot-blooded, <laughs> so it's just, just saying blooded it suffices? Before you char his bones to dust. Ooh, if we're a priest of Magrin, I bet we could convince them to chill the fuck out, or... Well, <laughs> that would kill them. <laughs> the god in that statue bid me to meet him here. I've come to speak with him. I'm no friend of Aethys. He stole a piece of my soul, and I mean to get it back. Lie. I have nothing to do with your god problem. What's it to you? You know, the kith can hear you. Hmm... Yeah, let's say this. I'm no friend of Aethys. Ha! You think to confront an embodied god? Then you are either powerful beyond comprehension, or as much a fool. Little bit of both? He cants his head, broad fingers scratching at the rivets of his helm. Yet you imply you do not serve him. The first giant's grip turns white-knuckled on the hilt of her sword. Her muscles strain and the metal quivers in her hand. Rakir, move! We cannot allow these intruders to live! Again, she thrusts the sword high. Rakir. 
the Rathun word for an unblooded warrior. With a shrug of his meaty shoulders, he steps aside. Ooh, shit. Metaphysics check. Aethys has consumed your warrior's very souls, but I've faced him before, and I'm still standing. Religion check. Aethys may be seeking revenge against you, Magranites, but I've nothing to do with it. An insight check, which we do not pass. I don't want to fight you, but I must deal with Aethys, no matter the cost. Attack. So, it has come to this. Hmm. Let's see. I like the idea of addressing them as being Magranites, but perhaps we should say this, but I face him and am still standing. Because that might garner some level of respect from them. Yeah, Aethys has consumed your warrior's very souls, but I've faced him before and am still standing. Shoulders taut with tension. The warrior eyes the strewn corpses of his fellow Rathunid arms. They lie, dried like husks, siphoned of their souls. He places a hand out to hold the warrior back. He studies you intently. You would face us in battle rather than flee. I like your metal. Kithu does not cower before Margren's greatest warriors. Hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, see? We have not yet defeated the embodied god. But that does not mean we won't. The Jotiger is readying another assault from within the Jagged Keep as we speak. Wait, how did he pronounce this? He did not say Bathor. <laughs> he said he's, he pronounced that very differently from how it looks. What did he say? What? I'm going to call it a Bathor. <laughs> Bathor, what is this? The equivalent of a warlord. This title is bestowed upon the most skilled warrior among the Rathun, a position earned through battle. It would be cool if we got, like, a Rathun companion or something, but I feel like that is unlikely. Man, how is, uh... Fucking, this ain't no good for Takehu to be here, right? Where's he gonna even source some water from in this place? <laughs> He's probably got, like, his little waterbender pouch or some shit, right? I will permit you to stamp closer to God's face, if you believe you can survive. Scurry deeper into the moor, but know that my brethren may squash you. Well, tell them not to. Come on, man. <laughs> How can I reach Aethys? I worry Magrin plans to erupt this volcano. If you stay, you'll die. You plan to attack Aethys? Farewell. Huh. How can I reach Aethys? All who neared the intruder god were gutted until extinguished. You think your soul could last even half so long as Rathoon's? Do they not have or know of Watchers? Maybe not? I don't know. Hmm. So, they're all godlikes, aren't they? Isn't that what I should assume here, based on how they appear? That all of these are, like, godlike. Like, originally, they, I guess, were, like, giants or something. And then they became all Magranite godlikes. Hence all the fire. Hmm. Because no one else has, like, weird shit that's, like, elemental or something in that nature. It has an affinity with a certain god. Unless you're a godlike. Hmm. Alright, continue. Maybe the kiss will last longer. She snorts, but the other warrior ignores her, answering in her stead. Only Margren's shrine with our jagged keep can lead you to the defiler god. Kith, if Margren wishes you to face him, surely she will fire the way. I worry Magrin plans to erupt this volcano. If you stay, you'll die. They probably are like, Then it is a good way to die by the honor of our goddess. Alright, if you stay, you'll die. He hefts his meaty shoulders in a heavy shrug. Our duty is foremost to Magrin. We guard the more to its fiery end. Right. Okay. And you plan to attack Aethys? First, we recover the wounded and their weapons. Drag them into the jagged keep. He nods. And then we will kill a god. It's been done before. Smacking the head of his staff against his chest, he bears you a garish grin. It definitely seems like... Because wasn't that the whole point of Aethys doing that shit with the Saints' War? We discovered that. Is that that was the whole point was for him to prove to mortals, to Kith, that it is possible to kill a god. Hmm. What's he doing here with all this, though? 
it's definitely it definitely feels like it's going to show, turn up to be like, oh shit, Anthus is actually doing this, but just like the Saints War, he's being pretty fucking short sighted with the cost of going through with all this. <laughs> all right, farewell. Help me with the bodies, but this time gentle your grip. It can't be helped, Rakir. These fallen are brittle. Yo, fuck. All right, hey, what's up? Can I talk to any of you all? Beyond what I've done? What would hey. you have of me, puny kiss? So many bodies. Aethys has drained you nearly dry. It's true. The god caught us unawares. We lost many, but we are not yet defeated. Margren has made us for this purpose. We will see to her victory through fire and blood. <laughs> I would have you stop calling me puny? I mean, I don't really care, but... Fuck it, let's see where this goes. He laughs, hearty and deep. The sound like wood cracking beneath flames. Ooh, that's cool. What a description. Grow a few dozen more feet, and I will gladly oblige you. <laughs> Alright, farewell. Let's check over here. Oh, shit. You got the explosive barrels, or what? What's up, dude? Nothing? Okay. I can pickpocket him. Do I dare? Mm -hmm. No problem. I think I do. Alright. Let's wait for this to expire, and I should be able to just make it around here. Yeah, just like this. Oh. That guy is seeing me. Okay. And then I can come up here. There we are. Oh, he's got nothing. Alright, fair enough. Yeah. Sure. Cool. And this is stealing. We don't really need that, though. We'll see if there's actually anything here worth grabbing and spending resources to, like, distract them. Whoop! Sorry, I'm breaking your friends. I'm siphoning primal flame out of them. Yeah, that's just... it's just garbage. I don't need any of that. Okay. Let's do a quick save here. Now, they did say, of course, that the others will still fight us. Which is wild. You would think that they would reserve their strength for fighting Aethys, but eh, what can you do? Okay, where does this actually lead to? Ashen Fortress Bridge. Okay. And over here... Oh. Ishii, now is the chance if you had any second thoughts about this place. Huh. Why not? Primal Flame. Primal Flame. A rock slide has collapsed this section of the keep. Yeah, Ashen Key. This key has been forged from a coal-colored alloy. The metal is hot to the touch, and the key easily spans the length of a kith's forearm. Yo, shit. It's like it's almost like a key blade or a key dagger. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's take some of this. Ooh. Easily pick done. into this thing. Don't mention it. There we go. Oh, gauntlets of reliability. 15% of misses convert to graces with proficient weapons. Eh. I don't think we're at a point where we necessarily need that now. Okay. Continue on and around down here. Good. Okay. And we'll just travel on through here. Did we try talking to her again? Yeah, nothing. Okay. Do a quick save. And down there. To the Ashen Bridge. Man, it's look looking like we're going into some, like, hellscape. Almost. Goodness. So if this thing erupts... Hmm. I don't know. I'm assuming we're going to figure out a way to get our ship beyond Magrin's Teeth to wherever that, like, stormy area is. Is that... Oh, shit. Do these places always make such a fearful noise? The volcano rolls in slumber, I say. We should not be here. Hmm. Let's quickly level up to Kehu. Should be easy enough. Okay, let's pump this up. Well, no. Let's get religion to seven. Because I always... I want metaphysics and religion to be his too. And we'll have religion be half. Okay, we can do mechanics. Or we could do... Alright. Yeah, let's not do mechanics. But we could do explosives. Well, let's keep pumping alchemy. Okay. And here we are. So we get two points now. Yeah, we get access to his final one, which I think we should get great Maelstrom. Maelstrom, even. Because look, it also has, yeah, water 
in there, which works for... Let's see. Yeah, frost and water spells can be foe only, which is pretty nice. It's a... It's a toss-up between whether we want Ninagal's Freezing Pillar or Great Maelstrom. And I'm thinking we go with Great Maelstrom, right? Look at all that. It's like, it's like twice as good. Eh? Certainly the range is further. AoE is larger. Hmm. I guess this does include Hobbled. Right, but Hobbled is such a... garbage... kind of... <laughs> uh, debuff, right? We pretty much only needed it and used it during the beginning for the sake of getting stealth attacks off. And of course we'll get prestige here, because that's just very nice to have. Okay, cool. See? Easy easy and quick. There we are. So that puts Takeu yes, up to 19, right? Let me just double check. Yeah. Great. It will be so. You need something. Be cautious. Be constant. Alright. Let's see, how big is this area? Huh. Not terribly big. Ooh, the piano is kicking in. Okay, got some Veiloon. I think that is useful for a lot of crafting. So we're over here, and there's Jagged Keep, Lair of the Ancient. Okay, well... <laughs> it seems pretty ominous. Oh shit, look at his hand right there, moving around. Primal Flame. Is it too late to discuss my fear of heights? <laughs> oh shit, of course there's dragons here. Of course there would be. Okay. Careful. Let's see. Let's have a dare go around this way. We'll send a dare in first. Look there. Who fuck? There's a lot of them, man. There's a fucking lot of them. Okay. There we go. A dare breaks stealth. Good. Intense heat. Whoa. Minus two might, minus two constitution, and minus two dex. Ooh, fuck. Okay, also look at this fucking Dharma initiative shit right there. Okay. It airs in combat, good. We got our quick save off ahead of time. Fantastic, let's go for... Hmm, what should we go for first? Only the Elder Flame Bat is a skull creature here. Let's just go for this Fire Drake that's close by. Okay, let's buff up. And let's go after that dude. Good. Adair, you run up toward him. Shields up as well. Good. Okay, I don't know why that moved them around, but it did. There we are. Let's also have Ishii go over here. Onto this one. Great. And I've got Takehu pretty much set up to go and do his shit automatically. Should be fine. Yeah, see, we still have Ninagal's access to that. Oh, and look. This also does include regular bullshit. Hmm. So maybe not ideal, because although it does have a water tag on it, I guess because it's not exclusively water, it can't be foe only. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, there we go. And Takehu, begin your shit, Takehu. Hmm. Perhaps he's not, like, technically in combat. Alright, we'll begin the first stage of it. There we go. Good job. Good. Get everyone Take some this. buffs. I'm shouldering this much That's gear good. is bad for my post. Okay, and everyone's slurping up. Excellent. Okay. Can't make a shouldering this. Let's see. How are these dudes? How is their armor looking? Flame bats are of course immune to fire, but drakes are not. It seems. Yeah. Drakes have some extra armor against it. Oh, they are actually weak to piercing. So guns are good against dragons. Okay. For my posture. You like that? Go. Nice Take them out. Good shit. And let's have Palagina do her shield crack over here. We'll biggen it. Getting the water. Try and consume as many of them in that debuff as possible. Good. Okay. Let's see here. Fire into this dude, actually. Let's flame back. Let's do this. There we are. Cool. Can't make a dent. Okay, and we're all getting buffed up now on our, yeah, on our potions. 20% action speed, 2 perception, 2 might. I could have sworn there was also penetration. No, I must have just confused it. Okay, yeah, still really good for the action speed, and, like, the action speed alone would be worth it. Okay. 
Let's see here. Let's swap our sets around. And let's lay into this flame bat. There we go. Good. You like that? This does cool. not work. Taking care of that. Swap again. Man, dude has got some serious fucking armor. Here, maybe we swap targets to something that actually took the debuff. Yeah. Let's get the flame blight over there. There we are. And once more into... Did the flame bat get... Yeah, shield crack. Good. Nope. Already did. Man, we fucking plowed through them. It's gotta be said. Okay. Let's see. Let's go over here. Can Palagina do another one of her? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Quick, toss me something else. Good. And Takehu actually is going to be quite useful here because a lot of these things are susceptible to frost. Alright. Cool. And let me make sure... Yeah, Maya has actually been using her abilities and shit. Okay, great. Let's see, can I actually customize AI for Ishii? No, I can't. Okay. That's fair. I don't know why you can even toggle on Ishii's AI. It's bizarre. Okay. Because there's no way to even know what it is beyond just auto attacking. All right. Good. Take out that last dude. Oops. Great. Yeah, this is going to be great. It was an excellent time to get uh, Takehu in the group. Yeah. Sure. Okay. We got some weird shit. Reptilian blood, scales, leathery wings, bunches of fire. What's this? A fang. Deep gashes Mara this Rathun's armor and flesh. Probably from the dragons. Okay. So do we want to head to the Jagged Keep first, or... Hmm. Maybe we have to... Well, this will be like some sort of dungeon where we inevitably have to go through everything. Right. So let's go to the Jagged Keep. He sure has taken his time over there, like, using his hand to absorb shit from it, though. Oh. Uh-oh. Dude, ain't this sounds like the Reapers. You spend your whole life thinking you're a giant. And one day that fella shows up at your fortress. <laughs> yeah. Leave That's fair. Me. Loose grid and jagged boulder chunks litter the broken section of this bridge. Alright, head on over here. Primal flame as well. Do you think maybe these are like a descendants or like ancestors or something of the Almawa? Sure. Eh, probably not. Probably a different sort of being altogether. Alright. Because if there is one commonality between them, it's that they're both big. <laughs> Alright, do a quick save here to the Jagged Keep. Check out what's inside. Probably some assholes who want to kill us. I would imagine. Some sort of Drake. Or maybe more of the Rathun who they said are like going to still try and kill us. <laughs> that's not the first time that's happened, right? Where we convince one person to stand down and it's been like... Yes, you've convinced me. I'll not kill you. I'll spare your life on this day. But my friends will still try to kill you. <laughs> A common occurrence for Team Watcher. All right. Keeping an eye out. Enter stealth. Head down here. Do a quick save as well. Good. Oh, no. There's a big flom there on the ground. Okay. Are we still, like, in intense heat? Debuffing us? No. Okay. Oh. Wait, maybe they are friendly. Eh, nothing on you. Hey there. Peaked at spotting you, the strapping warrior slams her shield against the floor, rattling the stones beneath your feet. Scurriers in my keep! Make ready to be crushed! Vermin of Aethos! Wait! Hear me out first! Brandish your weapon. Where to fight, then? Wait! Hear me out first! She stills, red scrawls in her skin flickering as she grimly appraises you. Nay, I will not risk the spread of the Defiler's filth during this time of crisis. She readies her sword. May Margarin forever burn your soul in agony. You'll find no mercy in the Everflame. 
Huh, they have no, like, commonality in their accents, do they? They're very... They're very different, right? Didn't the... Like, this chick, she's, like, rolling her R's and shit. And the other one was... Sounded almost like she had some sort of English accent, and the dude earlier, who was, like, the blacksmith, had some kind of American accent, I think, right? Okay, well... Looks like we're gonna fight. That's fine. Healed. I tried. Conflict there we go. In the air. Okay. Shields up. It's just one. Okay. Good. <laughs> this thing isn't doing the job. Oof. Hey, I thought their insides were all firing and stuff. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Everyone's chugging. Okay. Can we search her yeah, friend here? No. Problem. no. Maybe we should have drew our weapon at first and they would respect that. You know what? Next time, we're we're just going to continue to like negotiate with them from an aggressive standpoint. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Should we search this? Let's go counterclockwise. I can be quiet if you can. All right. Sneak around here. Speed time up though, nonetheless. We we'll have to pick into this. It's only lock level 8. I'll get that for you. Can't take all the credit. Go. Good. Oh look, bunch of blocks. A superb flail, some amber and primal flame as well. Okay, there is stuff further east. Let's take a look at that. There we go. Amazing that shit is just on fire here. Takei, who found something. Just spotted a lure. What? Oh, that. Man, the fog of war didn't even clear yet. Okay, looks like it's going to pop open that door. A corpse with flint and tinder and a lockpick. I guess the flint and tinder isn't necessarily useful here. So these are... Almalans? Yeah, looks looks about right. Okay. Push this button. And what's in here? Maybe whoever chained him... Whoa! Fuck, man. Is that from Aethys or the volcano? <laughs> Both? A rock slide has collapsed this section of the keep. Okay. Makes it simple for dungeon delving. For me. But yeah, are all of the building blocks that this place is made of also flammable because fire seems to stay lit on some of it? I don't know. A sacrifice to the goddess is the noblest of deaths. Magrin will honor his soul. So says this Rathun person. Oh, okay. Well, let's blast him. Here we are. Good. Gotta try something. Get him. Man, we fucking went through that person. Okay. Buff up. And get this raider, Rathun raider over here. Got some traps over there. Usually happen. Okay. Make sure everyone but me is at least auto attacking here. This, this does not work. Good. Not. Cool. All right. Easy does it. Shouldering this much gear is bad for my posture. Some I'm assuming he's going to gear is bad for yours to command, Captain. Yeah, I'm assuming he's going to say that whenever his items fill up from that spell. Okay. What do we have here? Some copper ald. Primal Flame as well. Yours to command. I can be cool. Next time. Weird the that challenge. they have kith currencies, right? Look at this. Trap over there. Let's have Maya take care of that. Yeah, I thought Maya would be a good candidate for also being a mechanics expert since she is. She our first um, inclination was that she was just a soldier, but she's more than a soldier. She's like a super soldier. She's a spy, right? I'll get that for you. Go. Easily done. Can't Trap take disarmed. All the credit. Unlocked. Fire thrower's gloves. Okay. Oh shit! Piercing strikes potion. Two penetration with weapons for sixty-three seconds. Wow, that's incredible. I think that's the first one of that we've seen. Okay, fire thrower's gloves. Plus two dex. Plus two explosives. Artificer's precision. Plus one Arcana, plus one all evocation power levels. Huh. That's a wizard. That's wizard shit, right? I think so. 
These leather gloves are cracked and discolored from contact with alchemical compounds and burning gunpowder. The fingertips, blackened from fuse and flame, still provide surprising dexterity and grip. The artificer, Elme Burist, crafted them during her time with the Deerwood and Grenadier Company, Grenadier Company during the Saints' War, where she oversaw the construction and implementation of the unit's explosives. Due to the rapidity of the Rayadseran incursion into the Palatinate, the Deerwoodens were frequently short on supplies, even in their home territory. Elme had to do with what little powder and other components she had. As the war escalated, the artisan found her presence necessary on the front lines, both to resupply her troops and offer instruction. Her valiant leadership and the courage of her troops earned her company the moniker Elme's Fire Throwers. Whether these gloves belong to Elme herself or one of her soldiers is unknown. Huh. So we'll save these either for Aloth or what's her butt sidekick. What say? Naturally. All right. Let's continue over here. I like the look of of the brick and stuff. How it like has this shiny sheen amidst the fire. Right. It's almost. Well, it's very. It looks very obsidian, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks obsidian in nature. Like some sort of volcanic glass was part of it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Let's go in here. Oh, look, another thing we have to pick open. Wow, lock level I'll 10. i that for you. Okay. There Can't take go. all the credit. Do a quick save here. Get up in there. Can oh. I? More with them. Me. Jeez, there's going to be none of them left after us. Okay. Adair, you break stealth and go after the flame caller, actually. Can't hide it. There you are. Shields up. And run for him. Oh shit, you are actually jumping around, aren't you? Okay, that's fine. Let's see, Palagina get on him. And let's see, let's have Takehu buff us all here. Good. There's no reason not to make this huge, right? Okay, because it doesn't scale power level of the potion, does it? Mm, it might do. Okay, there we are. And buff up. Go after this raider. Because I think we'll just get through him real quick. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Adair is over there on them. Let's run over this way and take care of the fanatic who is healing. Okay, great. I have no Let's do this. Fantastic. Oh my god, there are a shitload coming in. Helgina, start off taking! Holy shit! Adair, get up in there as well. Okay, we got engagement all over the place. Holy fuck. <laughs> wow, they all just rolled up in there, didn't they? Okay, that's fine. Helgina, do your debuff there. Here we go. Good. Let's actually have Takehu stop that, because I already did it manually. Okay. Let's get some of this chill fog active. Right here. There we are. We can afflict a lot of them. Take this. Oh, oh fuck. They're saw. rolling up in here, aren't they? Okay. Where even am I? Can't hardly see shit. Okay. Let's keep on the fanatic, I think. Ah! Weapon's no good to me. There we are. Good. Up here, one more. Let's see how's Palagina doing. She's doing just fine. You like that? Right on target. Okay. Good. Swap to the last set, or to the starting set again. Fire into him there. Whoo! Shit, man, they are all over us. Okay. Let's see. Let's have Palagina debuff here again. Take this. Good. Okay, where am I at? I'm over here. Yeah, let's get onto this fanatic here. Right Try and take them out. Good. Okay, let's also have Maya actually divert targets onto this fanatic. That's a good move. Great. 
Man, great job from Adair and Palagina there picking up the ads as they came in. You like that? Oh, look at them. They're doing their fun dance. Nice hit. Okay. Let's see, back over here. Let's stay on the fanatic. Makes no difference. There we are. Good shit. Decay was just casting like nobody's business. Alright. We are still buffed by nature's bounty. Just a great ability. It seems borderline OP. Okay, and then over here, let's finish off... Well, I think Adair's got that flame call up. We'll come over here. Eh, now nah, we're fine. We're just fine all over. Okay, cool. Good stuff. I have no space. Sienteri. Okay, let's check this. Oh, an ornate ashen key. A symbol of Magrin adorns the head of this giant black metal key. Silver Utoki. What was this? Yeah, the largest Rawatayan coin in common circulation. The silver Utoki is used for large trade transactions. Several generations of Utoki crown have been minted, the image on the obverse changing with each Ranganui. The reverse always features a physical crown. Right. We read that. Obsidian Spall. Yeah, the Huana use it as a currency sometimes. Okay. Sure. We'll take all that. Eh? Here we go. What's on this bag? Some ruby. The blades of these weapons have warped after prolonged exposure to the lava's heat. Up here. A fine shield. Oh, a napped scoria figurine. This small idol demonstrates surprisingly detailed work for a Rathun craftsman. It bears several Magranite markings, though the artistry is crude. Smoke wafts occasionally from the porous stone and stains whatever it touches with soot and ash. Hmm. Okay. And it summons two magma oozes. Okay. So far, we haven't really made use of the figurines. And I'm hesitant to do so. Because I don't really want to run out. Okay, so our key goes to this door. So we'll save that door for last, because that seems like everything is leading up to that. Slippery as an eel. Let's see, what have you got, if sure. anything? Fireless in death, this warrior's body is being ceremoniously prepared for cremation. That makes sense that they would be into that. Okay, over here. So what is this? This is like a big old morgue or something. Take all those knickknacks. Good. Ishii, now is not the time to start molting. I'm stressed too. Uh-uh. Mm, quiet. All right, check over here. Ooh, look at this. Another rumble as we approach this area. Do a quick save just as well. Looks like some barrels here. Okay, how is this even standing? Take a potion of healing. Oh, shit. Huh. What is this? Addendum. The Rathun are preparing for an assault against Aethys within the Jagged Keep. They await the return of their priestess, the Brenthus, before they strike. Okay. Make haste, the Brenthus will return soon to herald the assault. Okay. Well, let's just sneak on around here. There we go. A lightning bomb. And what is this? Oh shit. Let's see here. We could have Maya blow up the gunpowder, right? Maybe we do that. Let's do a quick save here. Adair breaks stealth. There we go. And Maya attack the gun barrel. Or the gunpowder barrel. Sorry, oh shit! Ours blew up just as well. Or is about to blow up. Okay, this could get spicy here. Let's see. Let's control Palagina and have her... Who fuck? This shit is about to fucking blow up. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Or at least the Amphora is. But that's it. Okay, yeah, we can survive that. There we go. They're like fucking doing siege weaponry on us. Let's go. Behold me, mother. Quick, toss me something else. What did you just say to Kayu? <laughs> Alright. There we go. Do some of this shit. 
Let's get this raider who jumped right on us. That way we can clear more room. Take this. I need something stronger. There we go. Good. Man, these meteors are really fucking pouring down, huh? Fuck. All right. Let's get this Rathoon Raider here. The second set. Good. We're carving through them all. This weapon's no good to me. Okay. Swap again here. Get you. Let's do this. Taking care of them. Great. Okay. Final set. Let's get this flame collar. I think. Excellent. There we are. Look, their bouncing attacks are actually taking effect. Both Maya and Takei who have that effect. I think Maya's can only bounce to someone behind her target. But still, pretty useful. Okay. Good. Got it. That wasn't so bad. Let's see. Whole bunch of just weird shit. Food and money. I guess they do just live here, right? Okay, Why not? check out this little box. Potion of Invisibility. Rathun Hall of Warriors. Man, it sure did get beaten the fuck up. What have we got here? Another ornate ashen key. I can be quiet if you can. Okay, over here. Takehu says that like we're about to fuck. Leave it to me. <laughs> Alright, some gunpowder there. I'll take it. And over here, anything? No. Okay. It's going this way. Oh shit. Ominous. Okay, cool. Well, that's everything except for whatever is behind this big ass door, right? Let's do a quick save and check it out real quick. Let's see here. Another quick save since we're up against the door. And we'll pop it open. Maybe the priestess is in here or something. Or a section that goes deeper? Oh shit. What is this? That one felt stronger than the first. I don't like this, Captain. Hmm. Okay. Oh shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is some sort of big ass encounter. Do a quick save here. And always seemed real cold to me for a fire god. Like she'd rather see you die struggling than offer help. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's have Adair yeah, be the right first away. to unveil himself here. Jesus. Man, does look pretty fucking badass, it's gotta be said. <laughs> Alright. A Rathun warrior stands tall among his giant brethren. Among, even among his giant brethren. With a stern sweep of his hand, he addresses the soldier at his side. The Brenthis tarries for too long, yet only she is fit to fire the shrine. Go and ensure that she returns readily with the Ancient. Oh. And of course the Brenthis is their High Priestess, right? Yeah. It would be my honor, Bathor. Return in victory, Rekir. Yes, Bathor. And remember, the giant sweeps his gaze in your direction. When the warlord spots you, his shoulders stiffen, and he reaches for the mace strapped to his back. You are a bold one to attack us in our own seat of power. I hope you are prepared to die here, for I will soon prostrate you on the altar of Margaret and burn you for her glory. I have no quarrel with you, Bathor. I'm here only to speak to Aethys. Your warriors let me pass in order to speak with Aethys. Or, rather, the first two did. <laughs> I bested your kind before. Who are you to stop me now? I'm not here to fight you. We don't have time for this. I need to get to Aethys, quickly. Hmm. Let's say this, let's acknowledge that we did pass that check earlier. I like that this is even here. Your warriors let me pass in order to speak with Aethys. Or rather, the first two did. The warlord studies you for a few stretched seconds. The ensuing silence is heavy, oppressive beneath the weight of his potential violence. Given the circumstance, I will hear your reason for being here, but my patience burns quickly, Kith. It burns quickly. His eyes glower brightly from behind his heavy mask. What is your relation to Aethys, if not to act with him against Margren? 
Barath wills that I intervene with Aethys. That bastard crossed me, and I'm going to make him pay for it. I couldn't care less if Aethys snuffs out every one of you. Or snuffs every one of you. I only need to discern his aim within the Deadfire. My motives are mine to know, and mine alone. Aethys stole a part of my soul. I need it back. I've come to ask him about his intentions within the Deadfire. Hmm. Let's see. Let's tell- let's talk about our soul because that worked with the others, right? Aethys stole a part of my soul, I need it back. Then you two have cause against Aethys, as we do. Yeah, at least for the time being. We are prepared to assault Aethys at the base of the moor. The warlord gestures to the shrine of Magran behind him. The shrine will lower us to the sacred Ardra pillar, where the embodied god now gluts himself. Well, what are you waiting for? Open the way. Let me through. I'll speak with Aethys and convince him to leave this place. Lie. Let me through. Aethys will listen to me and leave. Trust me, we go way back. I mean, I guess in a way we kind of do. <laughs> Attack. That's all I needed to know. Let's see. Oh, well, what are you waiting for? Open the way. He shakes his head. His eyes burn, fiercely intent. We guard the sacred depths of the moor. None may freely enter. Huh. Acquire the torque of Bithokton to access Magran Shrine and something. Thus the shrine lies dormant, locked without the torque of Bithokton. That was close. He shoves his shoulders back with pride. Did you follow that? Sometimes I feel like this whole archipelago has a vendetta against traditional locks. <laughs> the faint trace of a smile forms on Adair's lip to Kehu's lips curve in an approving smirk. Did you expect to answer a riddle, then navigate a labyrinth to access the way? Hm. The warlord glowers at you, his, his gaze hot like a brand against your skin. Our high priestess, the Brenthis is the Torque's rightful bearer. But she has yet to return to the keep. Where would the Brenthis have gone at a time like this? If you assault Aethys, you'll be slaughtered. I don't think they care. I think they're going to try and stop him at any cost, even if they die in the process. Where would the Brenthis have gone at a time like this? Our first defense against the Defiler God lies in shambles. His body markings flare with his anger. So the Brenthis has hastened to summon our ancient ally to battle. She is deep within the lair of the ancient, west of the keep. I bet it's some kind of super fucking fire dragon. When she returns to us with the dragon, oh, I we knew will it. fire the shrine and strike down the defiler. If you had the torque, would you let me through to Aethys? The warlord crosses his arms over his chest. Fiery scrawls flaring as his biceps bulge. Eventually, he grunts and gives you a gruff nod. Return our Brenthis and the talk, and we will let you join us in glorious battle indeed. Okay. We may as well exhaust this dialogue here. If you assault Aethys, you'll be slaughtered. To die for Markon is the greatest yeah. honor. We live only to protect the goddess and to serve her will. Makes sense. And Margren has obliterated Aethys before, has she not? Fair enough, fair enough. Maybe he's back for revenge. No, he clearly- Aethys clearly is uninterested in Mogren. He just wanted the massive Pillar of Adra that was there. I'll venture into the Lair of the Ancient and retrieve the Torque of Bithokton. Our first defense oh, is when she returns to I'll us with bravery burns within your blood. It stokes my respect. Yeah, I think that this is the way we need to go about talking to them. They respect you being brash. I approve of this venture. Until the Brenthis returns with the Ancient, my warriors will remain restless and ill at ease. Rakir, go to the lair of the Ancient and carry out my command. You will permit this Kith to assist you, presuming he can muster the strength. It will be done. You have my word, Bathor. Kith, All right. should you return the talk, and our priestess along with it to the shrine, you will have proven your worth by serving Margren's cause. And you, Segroth, lay a protection upon the kith. The Bathor jabs his mace toward one of his fire callers. The lair of the ancient is a deadly place, dead into a great dragon. This shall safeguard you. 
against the fire and fumes that fill the caverns. Oh, maybe this will prevent us from getting that super heated debuff or whatever it was earlier. You take the fire, I'll take the fumes. <laughs> Yo, Meyer, are you just saying that you want to get high or what? <laughs> All right. Sure, hit us up with that shit. Ooh. Oh, was that... Did, did I get it? Did we get it? Mogren's Blessing, plus two burn armor rating. Strong for 15 seconds when critically hit with fire attacks. Looks like we all got that. Okay, I wonder if that'll also prevent us from taking damage from what, whatever you call it. Damn, look at that. Maya, her, her thing is stacked up to 14 already. It'll go up to 40. 40% 40 extra damage taken, but 40% more damage dealt. Right? Speak freely. I'm you into it, saying? though, because she can be so long-ranged. Okay, cool. Let's see. Just Let's just examine word. this thing real quick. Massive chains hold the weight of the shrine's conveyable platform. Man, they got some tech going on here, huh? That said, there is animancy, right? So, <laughs> I wonder what their stance is on that. They don't seem to give a shit, do they? Or at least we haven't seen any evidence of it. All right, well, when next we come back, we will head over there to the Lair of the Ancient, and we're probably going to end up fighting that big fucking dragon, because I doubt we're going to fight Aethys here, right? Or anyone else, for that matter. I think the it's setting us up to fight this Ancient. All right, until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>